Good day. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Broadcast for today. A regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. The first school in France was named after the Armenian hero Misak Manushan. The life of Marsavan refugees in 1919. Historical footage. Ruins of ancient structures in Lake Vana. The loss of Artsakh. An Israel tank bombarded the Tower of UN peacekeepers in Lebanon. International recognition of the genocide committed against Armenians, International Conference. The National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia discussed the issues of responsibility of committee's reports and the events of the month. In 16 October, the regular session took place of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Ms. Nelly Hayatunyan, chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, gave an opening speech. She presented mainly the details of the events to be held in October. At the end of the session, agenda and current issues were discussed related to the effective organization of the work of the National Assembly and the further steps. The first school in France was named after the Armenian hero of resistance movement, Misak Manushan. The central high school in the town near Paris, and Net Malabri near Paris, was named after the Misak and Milene Manushan. The council adopted the decision. This is the first school in France that has the name of the hero of the Armenian nation. During the ceremony, the heroic image of Manushan and the importance of the struggle were presented to the younger generation. The ceremony attended the representatives of the French and Armenian authorities, including Ambassador of Republic of Armenia, Hasmik Tolmajan. She expressed gratitude for the initiative, emphasizing Manushan's importance as a symbol of Armenian-French friendship and an inspiration to French youth. The ceremony ended with the performances of Charles Navour's songs by the school students. The life of Marsevan refugees in 1919 in the historical footage. A photo taken in Marsevan in 1919 may show Armenian and possibly Turkish women with their children taking wool to sew clothes for orphans. The women with their faces covered in the photo may also be Armenians who have converted to Islam. The strapped blankets of some of the women are typical of the Marsavan region. Marsavan, the center of the Marsavan province of historical small hike, also known as Pontan Pazemon, has had a number of names, for example, Mersivu, Nepolis, and it is a historically important settlement where the Byzantine Armenian Emperor Hovannes Chemoshkik defeated the Bulgarians. During the genocide in 1915 and the massacres of 1895 were carried out to Armenian people and the Armenian population suffered. Many were killed. Ruins of ancient structures were discovered in Lake Vana. As a result of the significant lowering of the water level in Lake Vana due to the draft, the ruins of historical structure hidden underwater on the shores of Bitlis became visible again. The rise in temperature and decrease in our precipitation have led to the retreat of the lake, as a result of which buildings that were previously underwater have begun to appear on the shores of the lake. Documentary filmmaker and underwater explorer Tashin Ceylan and his team spent three days diving, exploring and filming the ruins of this historic structure found in the Bitlis region. According to Ceylan, the structures they filmed are mostly built of stones, have many small rooms and are connected to each other, which speaks of cultural and architectural complexities. This discovery suggests that these structures may belong to the Armenian population that once lived in and around one. Van and its surroundings were one of the important centers of Armenian culture and history, and these discoveries shed new light on the presence of Armenians and the culture they created in this region. Ashut Hayatunyan expressed his point of view. Until we liberate Artsakh and reunite it with the motherland, do we have the moral right to bear the Armenian name and protect the values that have been the pillar of our identity for centuries? Tomorrow's generation will inevitably try to hold us accountable. And will we be ready to face them, admitting that we lost their heritage? We were not the victors, but the um, vanquished. Will we have the honesty to admit that with our mistakes and failures we allowed and we weakened not only borders of motherlands, but also our nation honor? The viewers, the whole passage you can read in Western Armenian website page. The Israeli army shelled the positions of the UN peacekeeping missions in Lebanon. This was reported by the mission. It is said that an Israeli tank shelled the observation tower of the United Nations in Tarim forms in Lebanon, not far from the city of Kfar Kila. Early, the facilities of the peacekeeping mission were shelled, two soldiers were injured. According to UNIFIL, the tank damaged the tower and also destroyed two video recorded installed on it. What happened in the mission was called another direct and most likely deliberate shelling of peacekeepers' positions. 
On time free up to 25 October of this year, an international scientific conference, the international recognition of the genocide committed against Armenians will be held at the Museum Institute of Genocide in Armenia. Memorial political and geopolitical stakes of decades-long unfinished struggle on the memory political and geopolitical landmark of decades of unending struggle. The conference was organized by the Genocide Museum Institute Foundation in Armenia at the laboratory of the University of Poetors, Committee of Higher Education and science with the support of the National Association for Armenian Studies and Research and the French University in Armenia. The working language of the conference is English. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.